Welcome to the Skein Scoop podcast. We are so happy to be here. I'm Lori. And I'm Justine. And we are coming from Skein Yarn Shop in East Greenwich, Rhode Island. It is Wednesday, March 27th, and this is episode 49. 49. That's so close to 50. <laughs> I can't believe it took us this long to get there. Three, three thousand years later. 300 years later. Still not at 50. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Whatever. What we lack in quantity, we make up for with quality. Truth. <laughs> it's been a while. Why has it been so long, Lori? Oh, well, I mean, some good reasons. Uh, a lot of illness. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest reason of all. <laughs> My whole family is always ill. Um, but that's and not there's the a real new reason. baby. Surprise! You're a Mimi. He came early. Insert pictures of little baby Everett. Yes. Right here. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Everett Richard Barons He's was so born. So cute. I know. I can't believe it. What's today? Wednesday. He's already two weeks old. I can't believe it. I know. So. So Sam that, is, that Sam's really lucky that she lives in New Hampshire because I would have already just driven to her home if she lived nearby. Oh, yeah. If she, I mean, if she lived closer, I mean, if she lived in Rhode Island, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. I would yeah. just be there. Sorry, Sam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she yeah. is. That's probably, if I had to guess, that was by design. <laughs> yeah, I imagine that is true. Uh, she would have been like, yeah. oh my God, they're here again. I think. But still, I think they were happy. We were there unexpectedly. We were there. Um, we weren't at that. We weren't at the hospital when the baby was born. But we were just having a regular visiting weekend. Regular visiting weekend, and uh, I think having us there came in handy. Should I say that? I bet that you are correct. And uh, and I'm and I'm so glad. Honestly, yeah. I'm so yeah. so glad because I think it was it made it so that they could they didn't have to think about certain things which is good yeah so so they, we ended up staying you know because he was a little early they kept him for quite a bit of time and things are different i i don't know and i guess things are different depending upon what hospital you're in and what yeah but how busy they are yeah yeah are there are a lot of women having babies in the hospital when you it did not seem to me like the hospital was busy the they, they, they don't even call it a maternity ward anymore. It's like the family place. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, it didn't, there were definitely other people there with babies, but I didn't get the impression that they were completely full. Huh. So, so that's All good. Right. That very, fun. very exciting. You're so a Mimi. Exciting. I am, I am a Mimi. And the I'm, people will ask, and this is no shame. They're gonna say, "Did you finish the blanket?" Oh no! But you know what? <laughs> do I look? Baby... Do I look worried? No. And also, <laughs> the baby's gonna be little for a long time, so whatever. Yes. Yes. That later on, I'll we'll show share you. that with that. Later. I but made a I lot of progress. Anytime anybody at the shop came in and they were like, "Oh, she had the baby. She finished the blanket." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh man, snarky, tough crowd, tough crowd, tough crowd." I never said it one time. Um. Well, <laughs> I did. You knew. Uh -huh. well, well, I mean, he I did also show... never said, like, do you want me to just finish it for you? Because uh, I could have done that. Oh, yeah. But I wouldn't have said yes. I know. That's why um, I didn't ask. <laughs> so it'll, it'll get done. And he's little. And I am not worried. I and, wouldn't be either. Yeah. Although I probably shouldn't have cast on something else. <laughs> but I did. I was all about that new cast on. It's okay. Yeah. No, I needed, I needed a new cast on. So anyway. we are... How excited are you to be here? I'm like doing this today. It's because has it been four weeks? I, yeah, I, I think feel so like it's because been I'm pretty weeks. sure I didn't. I think it was like the 26th of. Oh no, did I not hit you? <laughs> oh my god! Whoops! I'm having a hard time here. <laughs> so oh, no, I did it. I got oh. just here. I'm losing it. Um. Yeah, I think it was the um 26th that we last recorded that that would that would definitely be one month ago one month it's my birthday, oh. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> almost 
almost. We'll definitely talk about that. Um, Wait, let's talk about it. I had yeah. the greatest day ever yesterday. Why? Because my friend Lori took and spoiled me yesterday. And Listen. it was such a nice day. It's it was so nice. A very special birthday coming up. That's all I'm going to say. I'm and turning 40. All right. Well, okay. You could say it. I wasn't going to say it I'm for turning you. Turning 40. That's a big deal. That's a milestone. Um, you know what's really funny is like, I my husband turned 40 last month and I picked on him like mercilessly. Oh, you're so old. Oh, I can't believe you're 40. I'm still in my 30s and oh you're ancient. God. He has been so good to me. He has not said that one time, but if he did, I think I would snap and break and cry. You think he knows that? <laughs> I think he knows it too. I think he's he great. does. He's a good man. Yeah. He really is. Because my husband... No, you know, my, my husband, when I turned 40, and he's eight months older than me, I think, um, he, he's just, he's not that person, mm -hmm. you know? I don't know. Not, Michael's not, not a, I am. So, <laughs> there's only room for one of those in I the guess. relationship. But I mean, the fact that I was so mean, you would think that he would be like, mm -hmm. but that's not who he is. I know, he's so nice. Yesterday we had plans. Lori's like, you're not working on Tuesday. I'm taking you. We're going to go. Was that a surprise when I said that? That I wasn't going to work? Yeah. Um, no? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it, I, I, you're in charge. If you tell me I'm not working, then I'm not working. It's fine. Um, <laughs> and you're going to take me somewhere. I know it's going to be great. So, yeah, it's fine. Um, so, of course, yesterday morning, my oldest wakes up and he's like, <laughs> Classic, feel classic, I don't feel good. Classic McKechnie morning. Oh my god! And she, and she texts me, and I see something, something about not feeling well. I just put my phone down. I just didn't. <laughs> I was like, this is not been happening. Nonstop of of illnesses. Sir, it's been a month. Of, it's been brutal. It's been a brutal winter. And and you, it, mostly for you, more so for you than for your kids. Uh, yeah, we, I mean, I've gotten so many random weird things because I'm turning 40, so I'm old now, so I get weird kind of illnesses. <laughs> Shall we tell the people what happened? What, how I choked? Yeah, <laughs> Lori, which was not good. We went out to dinner probably the week of our last podcast that yeah. weekend. Yeah, and I, I was so excited because we hadn't been out in so long. I ate something and it got stuck. I ran to the restroom. I'm not going to tell you all the details, no, but it was not details, pleasant. But I followed I after her. Ended up with an emergency endoscopy and let's just say, the we, next day. Let's just say we got locked out of the back door of the restaurant. Out of the restaurant because I had to go rape rapidly out the back door. Yes. Um, yeah, it was not pleasant. It was a bad. It was a bad. No, that was, was a bad. really bad week. That was not that fun. Was not but. Good. Yeah, so that's that. Um, oh, okay. But then in you the midst sick of after all, that, in the you? midst of all of that, I had committed to riding my bike 200 okay. miles, and I'm like, literally in the hospital having an endoscopy and thinking to myself like, well, I gotta get on my bike when I get home. I was like chugging water trying to get rid of this heartburn and riding my bike. So I'm at 180 I miles. I don't know how you I did it. I have 20 it. miles left to go before the end of the month. I've oh. raised close to $2,500. It's amazing. And the love and support from people in this community, either yeah. from people watching the podcast or people that are in the shop or friends and family has been really amazing. So I'm super grateful. Um, yeah, it's crazy but I still have 20 more miles to go. My best friend, Cindy's like, try to do it today. Just get it over with. I'm like, 20 miles today, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I thought I should do some this morning, but I knit instead. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's that. It's been great. <laughs> but we have a baby, so it's okay. Well, I mean, it's okay that you're feeling better. I mean, that's really that's really what's most important. I mean, the baby's important. Don't get me wrong. Oh, the, God, the baby is important. Yeah. And uh, yes, very excited about the baby. Well, you know, came a little early, but everything worked out the way it was supposed to. He's a little peanut. He is a little peanut. He's so cute. Can I just say that? I might mm -hmm. say that a few times. Sorry, people. He is very cute. You're allowed to say I that. I just want to eat him. 
Um, what? I don't see babies and wish I had, like, I don't get that, like, oh, I'm like, oh, that's nice. Don't ever want another baby. <laughs> Never. Well, this is the way you have them. Yeah. As a grandparent. Mm -hmm. I'm not, um, I feel weird saying I'm not comfortable as Mimi. Like, I, mean? like, you don't feel like it? Yet? I don't feel like a Mimi. Um, I certainly didn't feel like a Bubby. Mm. And you'll feel like a Mimi when he starts calling you Mimi. Probably. It takes a minute. Kevin got used to it. Kevin was not happy. He Kevin is Zadie, which is Yiddish for grandpa. And he wanted me to be Bubby, Bubby and Zadie. Or Zeta. And I I just don't feel like a Bubby, so. Did you have a Bubby? I did not have a Bubby, but Kevin had a Bubby. Uh. And she was something. She was a character and a half. And, um, but anyway, so this is what we came up with. The girls liked it. That's what we're going with. Yeah. But, and also the weird thing is like, I still, I like to say like my grandson, that does not exactly roll off the tongue. <laughs> it's, it's just weird. My daughter's baby. <laughs> yeah. I, I, mostly what I say is the my baby. My daughter had a baby. The baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the baby. So, yeah, so enough about that. All right. Um, what else? Look. Until we get to the blanket. Um, Did you knit a lot when you went no. to? No. Oh, well, you saw your, okay. Before the baby was born, you were in Florida with your parents. Correct. So that's what Correct. was happening. So we I was lucky to be and home. Then we, yeah. Yes. Yes. I went to see my parents. Um, that's where I got a lot. I think a lot of the, I did a lot of the blanket, um, and, you know, of, of what's done. Stop. Um, of, of all that's done so far? Yes. That's why. So, um, it is. yeah, that was a very quick trip. It was a really quick trip. Yeah, because you have to split your time. So you're I doing split two my days time. here, two days there, back home. Yep. Hopefully next time it will be a little, I don't know, just a little more leisurely. Mm -hmm. It was like, okay, got to go. Got to get in yeah. the car. Yeah. Uh, but it was, it was great. It was great. Great to see my dad. Great to see my mom and her husband and... Um, and, and I, oh, my mom moved to a new place. So it was nice to see that. That was a, oh, a hoot and a half. It's great. Got to see the new cafe at my dad's place where all the stuff goes down. Excellent. And, uh, it was good. Not really, nothing, nothing really to talk about too much there. Everybody's relatively well. Great. That's great. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to take it. Mm -hmm. It's a win. So. We are um, we are going on vacation in like three when weeks. Are you guys? I don't even know the sixteenth, seventeenth, some one of yeah. those days. Um, I'm not going to be here for my birthday. No, no, you're away for my birthday. No, I'm here on the sixteenth. Oh, you are on the seventeenth. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were away. Um, we leave early, early, early on the seventeenth. Oh, okay. And we're going to Punta Cana, which I've never been. My but friend Laura was just. it's super just... trendy, and that's where everybody should go. Is the oh, Punta yeah, yeah. Um, Laura, my friend Laura, mm -hmm. she just got back from there, and she sat, had an amazing time. Well, I just found out this morning that the hotel that we're staying at has like two parts to the hotel, and one part is a water area, like mm -hmm. water slides and stuff, which is yep. great. Except there's also like this kitty splash pad and kitty slides and stuff because Charlotte is too little. Okay. So when you're there, it's not gonna, it's it's being renovated. The splash the splash pad, like the part that Charlotte could go on, is being renovated. What are you gonna do? She's just gonna have to come hang out with mommy at the bar. There you go. I mean, the pool is open, but they have like why, a cute why is area. it why is it that I can see her actually sitting at the bar with sunglasses and a mocktail? Oh uh, well, but when <laughs> she was one, we took them on a trip, and she was so cute that the bartenders kept filling little plastic shot glasses with with whipped cream. And she used to just like sit at the bar with her little floppy hat and her sunglasses, drinking whipped cream out of a shot glass. Wait, should, that's my kid. Should we talk nope. about Grand Friends Day? No. Oh, you can. Oh, I went to Grand. I came home from being with the baby and Sam and Sam and Michael, that, who are now the transporters of the baby. <laughs> and uh, got to come and hang out with my Char. I went. It was so. It was so much fun. I loved it. We don't have to talk about it for a long time, but she's so cute. She's something else. Did they sing Mr. Sun? 
Oh, that's true. Yes. That's yes, true. they she's did. Saying, she's saying that to me at yes. one time last night. Yes. There was a performance and Charlotte participated and smiled and did some hand motions. Mm -hmm. I sent you a video, right? Yeah. And I took, I took a lot of pictures. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of running around the playground. Luckily, she didn't notice that she was mostly doing a circle around me. That's great. It was freezing that day. It was freezing. It was really cold. I'm totally distracted by the yarn over there that's going horizontal, vertically instead of horizontally. It's giving me a massive amount of anxiety. Okay, you'll be okay. You fix it after. So. Oof. <laughs> One of my friends was telling me that she has OCD, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Do you though? <know? laughs> she met you. Do you know about me? Oh right. my gosh. Should we talk about? Let's talk about knitting. All right. This is a knitting podcast. Sometimes crochet, although I don't have anything crocheted. I definitely don't have anything crocheted because as we found out, you can't do it. I can't do it because it hurts, and which I feel really bad about. Well, I shouldn't feel bad about it because I can't get done the knitting that I want to do. Mm. So, but I feel like I should have that skill, but I don't. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Um, we will have a little announcement about crochet a little later. Yeah, we have a ton of announcements and a ton of new yarn and a ton of new things and a ton yeah, of well. new things coming and a ton of things about <laughs> all the upcoming events. So stay tuned, but let's talk about our projects. All right. Well, first let's talk about what we're wearing. Yes. Really let's. quickly. Okay. I am wearing the um, striped triangle garter wrap from Pearl Soho. I think it's a free pattern. I believe it is. Although it's one of their Pearl Soho patterns that comes with 9 million Oh pictures, my gosh. you know, yeah. you have to cut and paste if you want to put it on a dock or something, but it is all there. It, yes. Oh, so many pictures <coughs> that you don't need. So make yeah. sure if you print it again, it's the striped triangle garter wrap from Pearl Soho. You can find it on Ravelry. They will, I think it redirects you to Pearl Soho's website. Yours um, is used Patagonia, right? Yes. Yes. This was knit by our friend, Allison, who was <sighs> so lovely and knit this for us. And um, you know, I'm gonna take it off because it's gonna end up off anyway because we know how hot I get. But I do, I have to say, I love it. It's such a good, I it's so love good. it. It's yeah. so cozy. And this is in Juniper Moon Farm, Patagonia. It's one skein of each color. Look at that. It's, it's massive. No, it's gotta be two of the gray, right? No, it's on the tag. There it is. Two so of the gray, one in burgundy, one in mulberry. Look it's that. very large, but I, I for one, really you know that's love like the perfect large. when you're like cold on the couch, you can put it over your shoulders too instead of Look, instead like of a blanket. Yeah, instead of wearing it in front of you, you can wear it on your back. I, which I never used to do, but I do it all the time now, and I'm always like, look at me getting old. Oh God, how many times are we gonna hear that? Let's make it a drinking game. <laughs> Every time we talk about how old I am, drink, drink. Um. We should put that, when you put the post up, you should say that. <laughs> um, so yes, I love this. Allison did such a beautiful job. She is a beautiful knitter. She is, that's what Marlene would say. She's oh, a she's a beautiful knitter. She's a beautiful knitter. knitter. Um, this is one of my, oh my gosh, I have a, a big hole in my. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> How did that happen? Because it's so old. It is old. Oh, look at all my holes. Oh. That's because it got caught. It, it definitely got yeah. caught on something. Oh, no. Sad news. Okay, this is by Antarctis. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, it's so oh, no. sad. Don't it look is. at that oh, one. No. Just don't, don't look at it. Oh my God, there's another one. Uh, what the? And you don't keep that here. That's not from here, right? You no, don't keep no, no, it no, here. No, no, no. This, um, so I have, I know exactly what happened to it. It hangs on a hook on my. Um, With your gazillions my, of shawls. Mm -hmm, and my kids pull on them all the time. Freaking kids, they're ruining all my things. Okay, this is Antarctis. It has a big hole. It's by Janina Calio. Look, when you go like this, you can't, you can't see, see the hole. See. Um, it's made out of Anzula fibers, and I love this color. This is like Is that the me. one I picked? Yeah, this is me in a color. Don't you think? <sighs> yes, it is. It's such a good color. Yes, it is. More art. It's, that makes me real sad. I, you know what? But can't see it now. Yeah, Just saying. Nobody can see it. I would say all know. Sorry. It's so old. I'm so old. Drink. Oh. 
<laughs> All right, I have four whips. I didn't finish anything, but I'm cruising. Are we talking about whips at this table or whips in life? Four whips at this table okay. that I'm gonna share with you today. Because okay. these are the four whips that I have been focused on. Okay. Um, I went through and I looked at all of my sweaters and I had seven sweaters. And I looked at when I started them and I looked at like how old they were and whether or not I even cared about the end of it or what one like I was prioritizing or whatever. And one of the sweaters that stuck out was my no frills sweater by Petite Knit. And I, is it by Petite Knit? Yes. Yes, it is. It is. I don't know why I just had a brain fart about that. <laughs> um, so I had been, I was very close to after I split for sleeves and we were going away for the weekend for Harrison's basketball trip. That's how long it's been since we podcast it. And I pulled out this sweater and we went away for the weekend and I only took one thing. One thing. And all I did That's was shocking. knit on this. No, you had a sock. I absolutely did not. Come on. I swear to God. My hand to God. In fact, you don't watch Never Not Knitting because I vlogged it. It's not that I don't I'm watch it. There's been a little bit going on. Um, so I only knit on this. And then when I came back, I only knit on this. That's amazing. So I finished the body and I started the sleeve. So I can show you, you where I gonna was. You're going to be done with it so soon. This is where I was the last time I showed it on the podcast. In an entire body. Do you see? Right up here. Wow. I knit the entire body. Amazing. And so then good. I got going on my sleeve. So this is um, out of Hedgehog Fibers Tweety in the Bliss colorway, which looks like this. Oh. It's, you want to put it up again? Oh, no, I showed them. All right. Um, Look at it. We have this colorway in the store. We also have the regular gray Tweety and we have, you know, the original Tweety and we have some black as well. Um, I chose to elongate the... We also have that blue color that's really beautiful. I don't think we have it. Oh, we don't? Left. Where is it? It's hanging on the wall. Oh, okay. Um, I chose uh, to knit it longer than the pattern says, but I tried it on a bunch of times. And then I knit a two inch ribbing at the bottom and I did not do any kind of fancy bind off because I don't care. Because and, um, nobody sees it. I think it's great. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And I have my little, my little fancy flamingos. Look at them. Hello. They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. I probably need to get more of those in. I'm also not going to be doing any decreases in the sleeves. I'm going Ooh. to be knitting a Look at you. Balloon sleeve. Getting trendy. And then I'm going to do a rapid decrease. And um, this is one thing I will say. If you are thinking about, I don't, some of my sweaters that I have knit, I've thought, oh, the arm is like, I wish it was looser or I wish it was tighter or whatever. And I'm, I'm always like, oh, I should just try a balloon sleeve. But before I did that, I went online. I looked at all the 9,000 projects of this online. <laughs> I searched for who was doing it out of Tweety. And then I searched of those people who did it out of Tweety, did anybody do it in a balloon sleeve? And there were plenty of people that did. I liked the way it looked. I kept going back and forth too on the bottom too, because I did the ribbing on the top less than two inches, but mm -hmm. I did the bottom in two inches. But I wanted to see well, do I like the look of a wide ribbing, ribbing at the bottom or do I not like that? And so if you're not looking at your projects, at other people's projects and comparing, you know, people's body sizes to yours yeah. or the fiber content that they used or whatever, if you're not like, if you're not using Ravelry that way, you should be. You should go onto Ravelry, search for other people's things in your color even yep. to, to decide if like they you know, maybe they finished something and you look at it and you're like, oh, I really don't like that. And then you have to change something about what you're doing. And I think that you it's, have these resources and I think it's great. It's so helpful looking at other people's projects and especially if they have notes, it's super helpful. Of course, I am not contributing to that helpfulness because I am very bad about doing 
ravelry bitch for anything. I forget who I was talking. Oh, it was Ray and Kevin. Ray and Kevin were posting about um, Ray was making fun of Kevin or Kevin was making fun of Ray. Oh, shocking. For um, using the same colored stitch markers all throughout. And I was like, it's <laughs> the only way to do it. Unless I'm going rainbow order. I, think and I was in on that sense. conversation, yeah. actually. Um, Judy, our friend Judy, who now works at the store here, she's like, I just, I can tell her something to do something one time. And she just like always does it that way from then on out. <laughs> so now she's like, look at, I've got my markers going. Or look at, I did the same color as this. And I'm like, oh, I'm so proud. I'm turning people into psychopaths one, one knitter at a time. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so yes, this makes me very happy. Um, I will say that since I finished the body and picked up for the sleeve, I haven't touched it this week because I have been um, kind of obsessed with something new. And what would but that something okay. new be? I'm not gonna tell you, you tell somebody else. You tell one of your things. <laughs> you tell now. somebody else something else. You do one of your things now. All right. Uh, okay, well, might as well do the blanket because that's the most boring. Oh, I didn't mean that. Boring. It's beautiful, but in terms of people have seen it for a long time, but have you seen it this big? No. This cute blanket. Look at how cute. So I made a lot of progress. I did most of this in Florida. We're on the way to Florida, so there it is. I'd say I've got- Did you knit on the plane? Of course. Did anybody ask you about your knitting on the plane? No, nobody oh. did. Um, who did you so say? Did Laura is. Lowenthal bring any knitting when she went to Punta Cana? I doubt it, but maybe. It's possible. If anybody has been to Punta Cana, have you had any issues with yarn on the plane? Because I have Oh, because it's in international. Mexico, I have in Mexico had issues returning. Please advise. Please advise. Um, so for those who are watching us for the first time, this is... Look at these Look at me. things. Those are my what progress that? keepers. That's a piece of cheesecake, I think. From Charm, they're all from Charmed and Dangerous, I think. Um, you have those. So Where did you get them? We gotta put her. We gotta write her down. Um, or you'll get yelled at. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, so see my progress keepers? Aren't they so cute? They're so cute. Oh wait, you can't see the front of this one. Hold on. The little cheesecake with strawberry stuff on. Although I prefer my cheesecake, little, it's a plain. I don't like anything else on my cheesecake other than cheesecake. Oh, no, I can do different kinds of cheesecake. But cheesecake isn't my favorite thing, but that is a piece of cheesecake and my progress marker. And then there's the same one that you have that I got for you. Mm -hmm. It's fireflies. Charlotte in a little, stole it. Can you believe it? Yeah, I can. It glows in the dark. The cutest, the cutest things, cutest stitch markers. From Charmed and Dangerous. Yeah. Link below. Um, write that down. <laughs> I get in trouble. <laughs> Lori thinks it's so funny. <laughs> I don't think it's. I don't think it's so funny. How many more inches do you have to go on that blanket? Are it's you a like good halfway question. Done, I feel like I'm halfway. I feel like I'm a little more than halfway done. What do you think, people? Some people would say, bind off right now. Mm -hmm. um, no, I think I'm a little bit more than halfway done because it's just a car seat blanket and it's just for when he's small. And that will be the last blanket I make for him. Well, actually, unless he asks me and then of course I'll make another one. But um, so that is the Pearl Soho Mosaic Blanket. It is not uh, listed as a baby blanket. So it's called the Mosaic, just the Mosaic Blanket, right? Mm -hmm. You'd think I'd know by now. It's linked below. It is linked below. So that's what I've got going on. And it's done in Rios, Malabrigo Rios. Okay. Also linked below. Yep. And the colors Fresco, Aseco, and Natural. Beautiful. That is my first whip. Okay. I have a hoe. I love that. Okay. But it's a it's a little person hoe. <laughs> it's I'm not sure that's politically correct. Well, I mean like an actual physically tiny little human. This is Look my, how cute it is. This is my daughter's little sock. So, so I had pulled out this yarn. This is yarn from the Cozy Knitter. And I don't have the tag here, but it was for St. Patrick's Day. And it's so cute because even the little accent is sparkly gold. Can you see it that it's sparkly? 
I don't know if you can. Maybe in the toe. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see it now. It's a sparkle toe. So Charlotte, so I had bought this for Ben last March and he was like, I want socks out of that. And I was like, okay. So in February, I pulled it out and I said, Ben, look, I'm going to make you socks out of that. And he goes, I don't want that. I was like, okay, fine. But I wanted to knit with it. So I knit this cute little sock for Char. This is a sock using the numbers from the crazy sock lady in her magic loop pattern. And I did the smallest size, which is 56 stitches. I mean, that's not like that tiny, but it fits Charlotte so well. It's so cute. So she was very confused when I kept trying it on her foot and I didn't have the toe done. <laughs> she was like, I don't want my toes to be out like that. And I was like, honey, I know. I got to know where to stop your toe. Oh, so, gosh, so I funny. think I did 12 rounds for this cuff. And then I knit, I think maybe 30 rounds before I did her heel flap. And guess it is so, so adorable. Cute. So yesterday while Lori and I were at breakfast, I cast on sock number two. And these go really fast. I started reading again, like reading at nighttime. And the face that you're giving me right now is so shady. <laughs> I mean, I never forgot how to read. Is that why you were making that face at me? No, it was more like, I hate you because you can actually knit as much as you do and read because I gave up reading because I can't knit as much as I want to. Well, I um, could listen to a that's book. That's what I my guess. sister said about riding my bike. She's like, how are you going to ride your bike? That is so much time you're giving up to knit. I didn't know that I wasn't worried. Bike. No, I wasn't concerned about that because you've done that. You've ridden your bike before. God, just it, it was her first thing was you're going to lose so much knitting time. <laughs> In, and in secretly, she loved it. I know. She was being so mean. Um, <laughs> Hi, Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so this one, I, I, I knit this almost this entire sock while I was reading my book. That's awesome. Yeah, so while you were good. listening to a book? No, reading. Reading. Yeah, I use my Kindle. Oh, okay. I prop my book up on my little flippy. On your little flippy? Mm -hmm. What the heck is that? It's like a little triangle thing that goes in my lap and it holds my book. Oh, Oh, I had never seen one of those, and Samantha has one. It's called the Flippy, and it has a little side holder for, like, pens and stuff. The Flippy. I'm, guess what? I am not buying that because I know I am not going um, you know, to do that. What I notice when I'm reading, uh, I'm, like, fully engaged in the reading part, and this is just, like, mindless. Obviously, I wouldn't do, like, a heel flap and gusset right, wallet, right. but I'm... But like that part is mindless for me. Yeah. So I'm really focusing and I'm never reaching for my phone as opposed to oh, when I'm sitting good. at the on the couch watching Netflix and I'm bored. So I pull out my phone and then I stop knitting. So I don't know. I think that it's been very good for me. So I'm knitting. I'm reading again. That's great. What are you reading? I the people want finished, to know. I finished, um, oh shoot, Fourth Wing, which is a book about that I like to say that it's like Game of Thrones, no, yeah, kind of Game of Thronesy because there's dragons. Okay. Mixed with the kids show How to Train Your Dragons because they're dragon riders. Okay. Mixed with Hunger Games. Oh. So you like That's fantasy? Good. I don't normally, but I really like this. I, I mean, the only other fantasy books I've ever read are like Harry Potter. Okay. Um, but a friend recommended it and there was a another um, book so I finished the first book really quickly. The second book is called Iron Flame, and I'm like two-thirds of the way done. And it's like 800 pages. Wow. Look at me reading. Good. That's awesome. It's good to read. Because <laughs> I'm getting so old. Got to keep my brain okay. Drink. Drink. Um, so, but actually a bunch of my girlfriends are reading the same book. Oh. So it's, it's been sort of funny. I'm doing a different activity, not reading. But doing? it does challenge your mind. What are you doing? Um, all the New York Times games, like oh. crosswords okay. and spelling bee. Oh, my mother-in-law loves that. And I love it. I love spelling bee. That's connections. I love oh, connections. that. She loves that too. Uh, I love all of them. And so this is, so it's, and it. Is connections the one where they give you a bunch of words and you have to figure out which ones connect? have in common. Yeah, Harrison likes that one too. Does he get them right? Because they're hard. Sometimes. 
sometimes it's funny the way he thinks is very different. Well, that is probably to his advantage. Yeah. Um, because you have to think differently in order to make those connections. So do you do those all on so your So tell iPad? me, people, drop a comment below. Who's doing the games, the New York Times games, and which games are you playing? Which games are your favorite? That's what I want to know. And if you have any other games, because I have so much free time. Do you do the Wordle every day? I'm trying to do Wordle every day. Do you want to know something? Sure. I failed Wordle. I failed to get the word in, what is it, six tries, I think? Yeah. For the first time ever today. Oh. What was the word? Uh, well, maybe you shouldn't say. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not going to say. Well, actually. Tell me later. No, I shouldn't say, just in case, because someone might watch it today, and I don't want to ruin it for them. It's not that the word is hard. It's just it all depends upon what word you start with. What's your first word? Do you always use the same word? I don't always use oh. the same word, but I know a lot of people who do. Mimi always uses adieu. Oh, yeah, because of the vowels. Mm. But so you know why I don't do that? Because, you know, people have favorite letters and stuff and uh, not favorite letters, favorite numbers and lucky numbers and things like that favorite letters and O is one of my favorite letters so I don't use that word oh because you have feel a like favorite it's... letter yeah I like O. oh I don't have a favorite letter see do you have a lucky number I sure do what is it four. Oh, mine's three mm. do you want to know why why because when I was little my mom put me and my sister in theater camp and there was a lady who was the lady that was in charge and she um, would always give us popsicles and she would say, it was really hot, she'd say, whoever can guess my lucky number will get the first popsicle. And she always said three. All those idiots around us never picked up on it and I'd be like three <laughs> and then I would get the first popsicle. So it became my lucky Come number, on. I swear to God. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I want, that makes me think of, since you're talking about idiots, um, that <laughs> makes me think of who has seen, have you seen the reel on Instagram Snoop Dogg. I follow Snoop Dogg. <laughs> and Snoop Dogg, he 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 um posts some really super funny stuff. Yeah. And he he reposted a reel of it was like a an episode of Wheel of Fortune. Have you seen <laughs> this? No, but I love when people are stupid on Wheel of oh, Fortune. Oh <laughs> my goodness. It is hilarious. It is so, so funny. If anybody wants me to send it to them, just... Oh, no. Oop. Annie's trying to come in, but she's pod we're podcasting. Oh, no. We can let her in. Yeah. We can let her in. Hold on a she sec. She just went to the car. Oh, should I text her? We should introduce Annie. We should introduce... <coughs> I can't even speak. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let me go into more things, and you can go get Annie. All right. Oh, but you're going to miss it. I'm going to miss... I don't want to miss anything. What was I gonna show? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Where's my phone? Did I leave it in the car? I probably did. I'll just oh. text her. Okay. Um I knew that was gonna happen. You knew that was gonna happen with Annie? Yeah, I know. She always comes in early. She does tend to come in early. What time is it? Oh, it's early. Okay, we got to get going because I yeah. have to go to the chiropractor. Okay, right. I have two more projects. One of them is brand new. What time new. do you have to go to the chiro chiropractor? I have to leave here at 2.30. Oh, okay. we got time. One of them is brand brandy dandy new. And the other one is an old one that I pulled out and did a lot of progress on. What do you want to see first? <laughs> you don't care. She doesn't care. No, that's not true. I was deciding. Oh, okay. Uh, do the new one. Okay. Um, all right, so a bunch of our customers and also now oh, people I that work here um, were looking for projects. And a new project came out in the past few weeks, and it's by one of my most favorite people. Laura Penrose is a designer from the UK, and I love, love, love her. Mm -hmm. I watched all of her vlogmas. I'm making her sweet shop blanket out of my skin cocaine advent. I I just love her style. I love her patterns. I love the way her patterns are written. They're very clear and also give you like directions if you want to adapt things in I a certain love that. way. 
and I just think she's really wonderful. So she came up with this pattern and she was showing, I'm um, talking about it on her podcast. So she had knit a shawl and her daughter, who's about Charlotte's age, mm. kept taking the shawl and like wrapping herself up in it. And so she, her daughter, um, I think her name is Penelope. Sounds like a proper British name. I think her name is Penelope, but they call her P. Um, her daughter, uh, asked her for a shawl so she decided to create a shawl for her and then she loved it so much that she decided to make it a little kid version and then a big kid a big version yep. an adult version so which when, is such a cute idea when I saw that I was like oh I want to wait make that and then our friend Barbara is going to Dubai and she's going to be with her granddaughter and she was like I need to make something I want to make something for Victoria and I was like you've got to make this when Barbara found out Judy was like Pfft, I've got granddaughters. I got to make it too. So then I was, so then I was sitting there like this. I wanted to make it, and now they're going to make it before me. Oh my gosh! So, you should have seen her face yesterday. Yeah, she was working on it yesterday. Sorry, it's hot flash time. Um, I can't. Um, so I wasn't knitting on anything like super exciting, right? I know, but you were so funny yesterday when you were knitting on it, and you were talking about Barbara and Judy. You were ahead of me. <laughs> You know, I, I hate that. Honestly, I so wish I had. I so wish I had been able to snap a picture of your face because it was hysterical. Was so I was sitting on the couch and Charlotte was right there. And I said, hey, Char, come with mommy. And I picked her up and I brought her over to the yarn cabinet. And I said, which of these yarns do you love? And she pulled out a sparkly yellow junk yarn color and a hot pink. And I was like, that, yep. that's my girl. So I cast on the Pim Pom shawl for Charlotte. That's the name of the shawl. And this morning I finished my bobbles. So I'm using... It's so good. It's so good. This is my main, uh, my main color. The yellow is by Junk Yarn. And this is her Starlet sock mm. um, in the colorway Christy. And we love Junk Yarn. And we were very excited because... We're going to be getting in a shipment of junk yarn very, very soon. soon. So this is the Pim Pom shawl. Um, oh my God, it's so cute. I definitely need a longer needle though. Look at me multitasking. Look at that. <laughs> so you start off with a an eye cord tab. And then you work this garter section. And then once you get to a certain number of stitches, which I didn't love because you know I don't like counting. Mm. Once you get to a certain number of stitches, then you change color. And the other color that I'm using is this obnoxious hot pink from it. Miss Babs in the colorway weird muchness. That's hmm. strange. This is her yummy two ply. So it's fingering weight. The whole thing is fingering weight held double. So um, the best part is I do not have a single bit of this yellow left. Wow. I so I knit an entire skein of fingering weight, held double, and then you cast on and you change your color and you use, not cast on, but you change your color and you do these bobbles. And then I'm going to knit until I get to like maybe an inch and a half past the bobbles, still increasing. And then there's a little scalloped, knitted scalloped edging using short rows. I can't wait to do it. It's so fun. So the kids version uses one skein of fingering weight held double for the body of it and then for the border one skein of fingering weight held double and then for the grown-up version you use two skeins and one two skeins and two skeins i think i think you need 150 grams for the border on the adult size mm -hmm. and you need 200 grams for the of fingering weight held double so i'm obsessed sorry ken's here I'll be right back. I'm obsessed. I think it's super, super cute. Um, I've also never done a bobble this way. So anytime I don't, I have to be honest, I'm not a fan of bobbles, of knitting them. I don't think many people are. But typically you have to like turn the yarn, turn the work and knit on the wrong side, knit on the right side, knit on the wrong side. But for this, she has you just slide it back on. Directions were super clear. Um, my stitch count wasn't exactly on when I ran out of yellow, so she tells you how to get back on track. And that's the only part about this that I didn't actually love. And then once these, 
once I get knitting a little more, the, the bobbles will not be so, you know, I've only knit one row, they'll be more tight together. So I'm loving this so much. I love it. Um, would highly recommend. Especially if you want to do like I've seen a lot with like a, a variegated um, main color and then like a solid I think looks really cute but Laura's adult version of this which I definitely will be making because I love triangular shawls but Laura's um, version of it is like kind of neutral so she has like a light gray or light taupe color and then like a rusty color on the edging. Hi Annie. Come say hello. Come say hi. Oh, I got dressed up. Look what I got. What is it? Big waffle. Oh, great. Don't show them because they're out in the computer. Oh, my goodness. What are you working on? That's pretty. Oh, this my goodness. This is my ping pong shawl. Here, come say hi. Annie, hello. say hi to the people. This is Annie. Annie works here on Wednesdays. And she's our Wednesday friend. Sometimes other days, but but yeah, she's our Wednesday like girl. This is my day. I'm like very wrinkly. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. I like your haircut. Right look at this. I know. I know we're getting very blonde, Justine and I. Oh, I know. Yeah, I love it. Yep. You're gonna be blonde That's next. Good. Look at me. Look at me with my you got some my highlights. highlights. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Bye. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> so there's my pim pom shawl. I would definitely make it. I highly recommend it. I think it's super cute. And also, I just oh, took that right out of my stash. Nice. I'm sure you have two skeins of fingering weight yarn in your stash that coordinate that you could do something like this in. And I think that I'm really proud of Charlotte's color choices. Oh my gosh. She picked Seriously, it. Seriously, she's your daughter. Mm -hmm. She is your daughter. All right. So let's see. I feel like I had just started. Mm. I don't know. I can't remember. We definitely talked about it because we, we definitely talked about it. But um, this is my memory nice. sweater. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> um, so here it is. I bought the yarn for this at Vogue, Vogue Knitting Live in New York City when we went at the end of January. Right? That's when we went and or that's when I went and, and others. And um, so this is Camellia Fiber Co. Camellia, Cam I think it's Camellia. Mm -hmm. Camellia Fiber Co. Um, and I couldn't love it more. So this is her yak and silk. That's the blue and I think it is. That's green. No, no, no. That's wrong. That's, That's wrong. Green. This is blue. That's green. Seriously? Seriously. To me, that's blue. To me, that's like a... No? That's green. That's the greenest green I've ever seen. Come on! Swear. No, this is green. This is green. It's so similar. is this. Look at this. Look at them next to each other. This is blue. That's I... also green. This? <laughs> That part of everything is blue. This is green. Yeah. That's, That's blue. blue. That's turquoise. You're so wrong. <laughs> I've had done. arguments about what's green and blue though before. So. That's green. But this is green. There's this is green. Kinds of green. This is green. Except it doesn't look green on the TV. On the, <laughs> on the, on the TV. We are killing uh, it today. All right. Anyway. Anyhow, it's a memory sweater. And now I'm so confused. Now I'm completely confused about. The fiber. This is so. Surrey. I'm sorry. This is not yak and silk. Oh my gosh. And I just the brown is yak. The brown is yak. And the blue is <laughs> the blue is <laughs> Surrey and silk. Okay? Held double. And it is a very simple sweater. So it we is were... called the memory sweater. And yes, we did talk about it because we talked about the fact that it was made for her M made in honor of her mom right mm -hmm. who had alzheimer's yes yes and um it's so we're you ordered this yarn or we're ordering no, this we yarn? are ordering this yarn so so yes but we also pulled some things we did and yes we are ordering this yarn so you will be able to get this exact yarn however we don't have it yet it takes a little while to come in 
So we put together some combos, things that you could hold together to make it. This is Le Garcon Fluff, and this is Mono Stellier Glaze Fino. Okay, this is 70% wool and 30% silk. It's one of my all time favorites. And in the most perfect color. Yes, this I color is called color. Whalebone. They're, all of the colors are amazing. I'm obsessed with this yarn. Um, it's fingering weight, it's a single. So, and the Le Garcon Fluff is uh, sport weight. 50 grams, 219 yards, 200 meters, 55% baby alpaca, 18% fine merino wool, 17% mulberry silk, 10% yak, 100% dreamy. So you could hold these two together to get the right gauge for the memory sweater. And you could get that luscious fluffiness, okay? Um, here's some other combinations. So some of them are using Alegria, which is a um, super wash merino. Also by Manos. Okay, so this is the color. This is an Alegria and the color is Eucalyptus. And the fluff color is oh, good. Bo Boreal. All that right. looks great together. Yeah, it does. What color would you say so that is, Lauren? Blue. This, this is, these are blue to me. <laughs> these are, they're like a, shut up. I'm shocked that you think that's blue. Yeah, that's clearly green. That is really? so clearly green. Yeah. I don't think so. I mean, it's bluish green, but it is green. It's definitely a greenish blue, but to me it's blue. <laughs> it's, it's blue. This is green. This is blue. On the screen, it does look bluer, but in real life right here, this is green. Yeah, I agree. Who do you agree with? Well, they can't agree with that. That's Baloney, come in the store and tell me that this is blue. It's green. I say they can. <laughs> Show the uh, pink. <laughs> That's blue. This is blue. Yes, this is blue also. <laughs> this is called mist. This is mist and, and this is silk. watered silk. That would look pretty together. A little bit of a tonal thing happening. Uh-oh. God forbid I should get out of my chair. <laughs> I must just fit. <laughs> How about that pink? That? You know, that's the good thing about pink. This is English never rose. Call it something that it's not. Some people, sometimes people, you could get pink and purple mixed up. I get purple and blue, like uh, periwinkle is really tough for me. Well, that's because of the type of color it is. Yeah. This, the Fino is in Havisham. Beautiful. So beautiful. And that was it. Jess Saglio, no, your Fino is not in yet. Sorry to say. But it will be soon. Um assume I'm assuming she's watching the podcast because who wouldn't? Uh all right. Okay. So there you have it. That's Lori's my that's green my sweater second one. is going away now. My blue sweater is <laughs> going into the bag. All right, you have a new cast on. I do have a new cast on. Uh, oh, let me show my old You thing. do yours. Okay. In this adorable Black Pearl Magic bag so that I got for Christmas is my DK Jelly Roll Blanket. Nice. You love this. I do love it. Last time I showed it, I was talking about how I didn't think it was long enough. So I had gone, I went back. I'm on the third strip of this blanket, but I had gone back and added length. It's so to good. It. So the I last time I showed it, mm. I was like down here. So here's the full length of the blanket. It is touching the floor right now, so it's it's the same height as me. So I added three strips to the first one, and I added three strips to the second one. And then I went down to strip number three and I whipped all of that. And I love it. This blanket makes me really happy. Um, I'm doing it held double. So this is a pattern by Kay Jones and she wrote it initially as a fingering weight pattern, but then the crazy sock lady did it in DK and then Kay Jones went back and added um, directions for how to do it in DK. Mm -hmm. 
or what needle size and whatever. I just love the colors you've picked out, the color combos. I think they're oh, amazing. Thank you. So I'm trying, um, it's, it is scrappy. These are all scraps. I'm not like opening any full skeins of anything, mm -hmm. but I am trying to keep the strip consistent. So like this one is pinks and purples, and then this one is blues and greens. This one was mostly orangey yellows and like light pinks, mm -hmm. but obviously I have more pink than I have of any other color in my stash. And I, this makes me so happy. Knitting this is really like fun and, and you get to the end of a color and you're like, whoop, I can't wait to do another one. Whoop, can't wait to do another one. So that's great. It's really fun. Um, I love scrappy things, but knitting on them makes me miss all the other scrappy things that I have because I've got so many scrappy things. So mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is finish this strip, this third strip, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to put this away for a little while and work on one of my other blankets because I'm loving blanket knitting. Never thought I would say that. I know. But it's because it's blankets, scrappy. Yeah. Not this kind of blanket. No. I would hate that. No. I love the end result of that. Of course. I see course. you knit that and I think, oh man, I want one of those. Never. <laughs> I would die. Unless it was all scratched. I can tell you that I will not be knitting a blanket again anytime soon. Yeah. Um, but I have to get back to that. We'll oh. see. I, ha I have to get back. Like, because I, since I cast this on, yeah. um, I really have ignored this for about a week. And I need to get back to it because it needs to be done yeah. for for the yeah. little baby. We had um we had shown last time I think the Sunday and the double Sunday that we had mm -hmm. and the tin silk mohair. But we this is like a thing where we had we we got a lot of new stuff in all at once, right? Yes, we did. And then we got new colors of stuff we already had. Mm -hmm. that maybe we've had for a while but we don't have any samples and it's always it's just hard because there's so much yarn and so little time yes. to knit the samples so we thank all the people that volunteered to knit samples. and just because you haven't heard from me yet doesn't mean that you're not going to hear from me there's um, just a lot going on there's yeah yeah there has been a lot going on and you know as you can see you we hired annie we've hired four new people yeah, four new people. So there's been a lot of training happening and probably not as much as there should be, <laughs> but um, there but there has been training happening and and just a, a, just so many moving parts. I hate to make excuses, but that's just what's going on. And so I can't answer the emails as fast as I would like to. I have answered some of them, but um, we'll get to you. We promise. Yes. We appreciate it. Who's calling me? All that to oh, say speak of the devil, Laura Longfall. that you, um, yes, one of the things that you cast on is something that we've had in the store. It's just like now was the perfect time to cast this on. That's right. So this is, I started, let's see, this is the front, right? No, wait, where's yeah. the front? Right there. Yeah, that's the front. This is the front. <laughs> this is the front. Um, anyway, it's a, it's a top down sweater by Petite Knit. There'll be a picture. There will be a picture. And um, it is called the Terrazzo sweater. Chances are many of you are very familiar with it. It's been out for a while. I don't know how many. Oh, I love that detail. Yeah, I think they would call this a saddle shoulder, wouldn't they? Oh, I love that. So here's the, sh here's the shoulder. You show that, I'm gonna get some yarn. Yes, yeah, please. So, the yarns, it's hard for me to, hold on, hold on. You were, why are you so good at, hold on. <laughs> there you go, there you go. So I think you would call this a saddle shoulder, but anyone feel free to correct me in the comments. And I'm doing it in Noro Silk Garden, Silk Garden Sock Solo? Silk it's a, Garden. All right, I got it right. Noro Silk Garden Sock Solo. And I am holding that with um, San Niskarn, which uh, we've recently, as you know, gotten in a, a bunch of different bases from San Niskarn. And one of them is their Tin Silk Mohair. 
So I'm holding those two together, which I think you can see pretty well there. And I love it. I am obsessed with this sweater. So the Noro is 40% wool, 25% silk, 25% polyamide, and 10% mohair. And the Tin Silk mohair is 57% mohair, 28% silk, and 15% wool. That math wasn't mathing for me for a minute, but it does. <laughs> so here's some color selections if you wanted to do like a that would be lovely. Pink would like soften it up. Or how about that? That mm. would be so pretty. I love this color. Um, I love this color. I love this. A mint. The terrazzo sweater was originally designed and knit in exactly these two yarns. That's how right. That? I think the mohair was a different brand, but it was. Um, I don't think it was Santa Scarn, but. Um, but the, the Silk Garden Sock Solo is, was used. Yeah. But I mean, you can use any silk mohair. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I, so let me talk about this. I was just gonna say, tell them about that pattern. A those little that bit. You were telling me about yesterday. I, first of all, I just love, I just love working with these two yarns. I love holding them together and, and knitting with them. It's a, it's a pleasure to knit. Um, but let's talk about the petite knit patterns. So she is Danish. And her patterns, in my opinion, they've, they've definitely gotten better over the years in terms of size inclusivity. I think she's actually got, gone back and expanded her size range for the patterns that weren't all that size inclusive. So I love that. But the patterns are written so well. And even though English is not her first language, it must, I have to imagine that. She speaks English very well, or I mean, she might not do the translating herself, but um, they're just, it, even though it's a translated pattern, it's fantastic. It is, everything is spelled out for you, but I kind of wish that I had, um, I kind of wish that I had printed that out, uh, printed out a pattern, pattern of hers so I could show you. What she tends to do in her patterns is, Every time she moves to a new section, she explains, there's a paragraph where she explains what part of the sweater you're now going to and how it's going to be constructed. And the, but it's not the directions. It's not so the sometimes directions. Sometimes people think like, but why isn't she telling me what to do? Well, it's just like introducing the next part of the thing. Right, and so that's why I wanted to talk about it because it, I think people get frustrated with her patterns, but you just have to know she's trying to make it easier for you. And so the second paragraph after the explanation of the construction are like exact instructions of what she just talked about. So she kind of talks about it in vaguer terms in mm -hmm. the first paragraph and then she gives you stitch by stitch instructions. So it's it's a trust the, trust process, the process and that's, don't read too far ahead. Ex that's, that's, exactly. That's how I that's how I do with her patterns. Yeah. Trust so. the process. But her aesthetic is exactly what I want. It, they're staple pieces. I love it. I so just also any anybody has knit the terrazzo sweater. Um, we were talking yesterday about whether or not you would want to knit that um, turtleneck. So if anybody right. has ever um, knit it and done the turtleneck or not done the turtleneck, let us know. I have the feeling with what I'm dealing with right now, I don't think I'm going to knit that turtleneck. I think it would be unwise for me. So I think it'll be a crew neck for me but it's so easy to modify. If you go, and again, as Justine was saying before, utilize the projects on Ravelry. Go look up the Terrazzo sweater and then go to pro projects. I think almost 2,000 of these sweaters have been made, or at least, uh, probably more than that, but 2,000 have been 1200. listed. Oh, 1,200, all right. There was, a, there was a two in there. Yeah. And so still a lot and so many different iterations of the sweater, so many different um, yeah, necklines. Yeah, as a crew neck. Yeah, you know, 
different sleeve lengths, different bind offs, you know, all the things. Just look at just look at the pictures and then see if the person has any notes and sometimes you'll find exact instructions on what you should be doing. But I can't I can't recommend this pattern more strongly. Again, the terrazzo sweater, but I also can't recommend all of her patterns more strongly. I really tend to I you know, I I I tend to knit a lot of her patterns because I just I just love them. I love her aesthetic. She's for the most part very minimalist. And this is very um this is knitting up as a worsted basically. I think so. Yeah, I mean it's Yeah. Yes, yes it is. Cuz I'm on 7s. Yep. The pattern calls for 8s. Do your swatch. Please do your swatch. And you know what? Speaking of swatches, Laura Ross sent me I don't know if she sent it. Did she yeah. send it to you? I've, I've, I've been thinking about that forever. Your swatch is not necessarily about matching whatever the designer says needle size to the, the gauge. It is about finding the fabric and the material that you like best and using that information to figure out which size to knit. Which size to knit, which needles, needles to, to use, use which yarn to use. Yep. And so, and again, that goes back to what we were saying about utilizing Ravelry, getting the most out of Ravelry. Look at, look, you should be looking at other people's projects every time you look up a design on Ravelry. Mm -hmm. In my humble opinion. All in, right. In my not so humble That's opinion. That's enough of our knitting. So. Now we have to talk about all the new things and new upcoming things. So. If you look in this description, if you look in the box below, or if you see where the title of this episode, there is a little box that says, a little pull down button that says more. When you click on that, it will bring up a description box with links galore to everything that we are about to talk about. If we have the yarn in the store, which we do, the link to the yarn is right there in that box. Um, and then pattern suggestions, there's also links there to Ravelry so that you can see any patterns that we are about to talk about. Let's hold off on this for a second. What is that? That is the landscapers. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so Noro, while we're on a Noro kick. Yes. This wow, is we're always new on a Noro kick. Noro yarn. Noro. This is Noro Compito, which is 35% silk, 35% <sighs> cotton, and 30% polyamide. It is a sport. DK, sport DK. Yeah. Um, it I is, think technically it's listed as a DK, but you can use it yeah. as sport. It is soft. Oh, so I'm soft. obsessed. It is so the soft. The colors are just. They're 150 amazing. gram balls, and we need to put these colors online. These need to get done today. The pictures aren't. Oh, the pictures aren't, the pictures aren't, online. aren't online. Oh. There are 450 meters in this beautiful dragon egg. Um, look at this purple. I know. Oh, so we can tell you right now, this is colorway number five. Yeah, so even if the pictures aren't there, but we're gonna, this we're gonna get This is colorway them number seven. Oh God, it's so good. I think that might be my favorite one. Um, colorway three, this one. And colorway one is very close to colorway three, but different somehow. <sighs> Not exactly how. I don't know. Wait, let me see. Well, you're colorblind. Listen, <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> um, yeah, so soft. So one of our friends is knitting up a sample um, of a pattern called Partnership. It is for thing. It's a two skeins of fingering weight, but she is using two skeins of this, and it is awesome. It's like a stripey um kite shaped shawl and i actually in my opinion i think that it's a little small in fingering I, weight so i think that this is going to be just a little bit bigger and i think it's gonna be fantastic so that is an option you could knit, knit a summer top in these because they're um they're not color changing like gradiating it's more random i mm. feel like um and more like hand spunny that i think a simple summer top would be awesome 
in 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 one of these uh you could also hold it with mohair totally i mean you could i actually initially thought the terrasso for that yes. with the mohair but um yeah that was just a, another but then thought. we i, I mean, think we just decided so to good. do this because we didn't have a sample i think that's why so good so good so um, good so, so good. good you could also hold you probably could hold um fluff fluff with it to mm. do to do your um, memory sweater too. oh yeah okay another new yarn that we got in which i've talked about on the lives the lives um the lives is another juniper moon farm yarn cumulus which is a worsted weight cotton it's 94 percent cotton and six percent nylon so and the colors are so good. A one. So good. Um, so we have some people knitting tops out of this. Um, one, there's one ca called the Salty Days. Salty Days, I think, so it's called. And it's a, it's all over textured long sleeve cotton sweater, and they're gorgeous. Yeah. Um, another simple summer top. Um, just uh. I think it's by Seven Sisters. I will look it up and put it down below. But we also have our friend Marissa knit up this sample. And this is using one skein of the Cumulus with one skein of the Cumulus Rainbow. So these are gradiating balls. It's the same fiber content of the of the Cumulus, but it's they're gradiating. And this is a pattern called Sliding is Fun. Um, and it's a trust the process pattern. Yeah, look at that. But look at that. It's almost like it's, well, it's reversible. You have, <laughs> uh, there's no right or wrong side. I think that's the coolest part, yep. right? It's so, so good. Depending on, you know, ah, oh my God. How many times can we do that? Uh, so there we go. That's cumulus. Love. We love it. It's so soft. Anybody that touches it is like, what? Hmm. <laughs> Look at these three colors together. That is fun, fun, fun. What color is this? That is green. Just checking. <laughs> did you just stick your middle finger up at me? I didn't. <laughs> did you in your head? No, oh. I didn't. Liar. I'm not a liar. Okay. <laughs> More yarn that we got in um, on a cotton linen kick over here this is also by juniper moon farms and it is the zoe so we have zoe and we have zoe spray it's a cotton linen blend 60 percent cotton 40 percent linen and we'll be getting a sample in this soon from trina um i'm so we excited have a zillion colors i love this color yeah that's good I love that color. So let's see. This one's called Key Lime. Ooh, I love this. This one's Mainsail. And what's the orangey color? This Rig is rigging. rigging. So okay, I'll sail both. Don't care. Kind of um, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> some some uh, pattern spoken, options. Spoken like a person who doesn't sail, even though I don't sail either. But I do know these. This terms. one's called Hidden Lagoon. So this is Zoe Spray. These, these are just the multi variegated, multicolored. Yeah. Uh, what's yours is called? Mine? This one is <laughs> Guarna Boardwalk. Ooh. Don't ask me what Guarna is. Hidden Lagoon. When I was typing it's up the really names of these though. things, I was like, what is that? Guarna G. If anybody knows what Guarna is, please let us know. <laughs> G-U-A-R-N-A. Okay, so here's some options for some pattern ideas, and I'll put pictures in too. Sophie Scarf. Um, an Anker's Summer Shirt, another petite knit pattern. I found this pattern for one of our customers. This is a really cute pattern. It's called Ardia, and it's a sweater that is knit across this way, and then you knit the back and you seam them down the side, and there's two options, a cropped version and a longer version. Tech all over texture, super, super cute, knit in. Zoe, really cute. There are so many options. Like when I was looking through the projects for these yarns, what a lot of what I saw is classics, like patterns that we know. 
and the ranunculus, the ranunculus anchors. Um, take take any summer weight DK or sport weight sweater that you know or tee, and you can use this yarn for it. Is basically what it comes down to. You can make the patty tank. Um, it's just if you look it up on Ravelry, it's just patty. P a t t i. And uh, this this would be perfect for that. Um, so a little bit of a different fiber content, but another um, cotton and linen. So it's 48% linen, 24% cotton, 24% viscose, and 4% polyester. This is the Juniper Moon Farm Summer Solstice. Um, this is dewberry. And this is uh, celestial. Look at that. Look at how good that goes together. Yeah. Oh, really good. This, this shows up as gray, but it's more taupe. Yeah, it's definitely. Think. Yeah, it's definitely taupe beer. There is some gray in there, but yeah. Um, so they, this is the summer solstice. Then they have summer solstice paints. So like the cumulus and cumulus rainbow, we've got some gradiating colors. This one is called sizzling summer. That's pretty. And this one is called, I don't get it. It's called sunset soiree. I don't understand why. That doesn't make any sense. Couple of options Nobody of things. Nobody consulted us. Um, I've seen this. There's a tea by um, Tori Yu, Tori Knits NYC, called the Uptown Tea. Um, she has the same version, I think, in a sweater, but it's a V, I think it's a V-neck, but it has the sleeve is open, like mesh kind of. Mm. That would be really cool in something like this. It would bloom really nicely. I want to see that. Another option is a, a Janina Calio pattern called Herald, which is an all over um, uh, mesh looking shawl. And I think it would be spectacular in, in like a gradiating, um, look at that. Wouldn't that be so cool? Mm -hmm. That's the Herald, but the other one is called the Uptown Tea. And you know, I love you love Tori, Tori NYC. Um, oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I like the hearts. It's kind of cool. Granny squares with hearts in the middle. Um, what was it? What was it? Um, Uptown T. Oh, I yep. think it would be. Oh, it's like. Oh, a, that's really nice. It's really, really pretty. <gasps> I'll put a picture in. I think it would be really, that. really lovely in one of these cotton yarns. Either the For Zoe, sure. either the Zoe or the Summer Solstice. Yeah. I think that the Zoe is a little softer. Um, but I think that the summer solstice is gonna have a little bit more structure to the final garment, if I had to guess. Mm -hmm. And, okay, yeah. we got in some things from Think Waffle. Can you grab those cute, um, the stickers that we got and the wall, and those little, um, they're in that basket right there on the small table, Lori, right there on the right. Go to the right. The cards. Yeah, this one? Yeah. yeah. So and where the from the stickers are in the attorney thing. Uh, um, so these are Bink Waffle Notion pouches. These are online. They are so cute. So cute. They are flat bottom with a zipper. Awesome fabric on the inside that has a pocket and a lanyard and a full zipper with a hook on the outside so you could hook it onto your project bag. It's awesome so these are on the website um this is the teal colored one then we have this one here that's the hush puppy look at how cute they're so cute um really great fabric on the inside i'm obsessed with, the with pocket. Pink waffle. look at these campers i have a um you have a bag like oh, this, a bag right? like that oh in God, fact I love we that might have bag. gotten bags like that love it love yeah. it so these are Bink Waffle things. We also got the... I don't know if we ever showed these. Do we ever oh, show these? Oh, will they show up backwards or forwards? They're going to be right probably at the yarn store. Okay. Got yarn. <laughs> sorry for what I said when I dropped that stitch. I'm sorry for what I said when you called my knitting crochet. And we have ones to say when you called my crochet knitting Correct. also. So we also got from Bink Waffle um, 
three different sizes of these. They call them their cozy cakes. So these are when you pull from a center pull ball. We have small, medium, and larges. So the smalls hold 50 gram balls. The mediums hold 100 gram balls of like fingering and DK. And the larges hold bulky and super bulky. So we have small, mediums, and larges in a bunch of different fabrics. And those are available on the website. And then we have these cards to include when you make a gift for someone. This one says, at least pretend you love it. And then it gives um, hair little, instructions. And a little envelope. Yep, it's really cute. Congratulations, you made my handmade gift list. And on the back it says, caring for your handmade gift, where you can list the content, how to wash it, how to dry it, and any additional information. Um, you could even, if you were making a sweater for somebody or a baby thing, you could include, I know some people do this, where they include a little bit of a scrap of the yarn in case a button falls off and then oh, you yeah. put another button on. Yeah. Or if you buy an extra button, you could put it in the package. I love this. This is what I'm going to give to Sam when I give her the blanket. This took four freaking ever. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one, made with love. For those of you less less sassy people. That's right. But I love them. They're so, I just think they're so cute. Super cute. Um. Okay. Right. I'm sure there's more that we got that, in. Um, yes, there, there is. is more coming up, but we need to finish and talk about the things that are upcoming. This there are Sunday so many is Easter Sunday, so the store will be closed. Um, that is on our website. It is on our website, and it will be on social media today. Um, coming up, we will be starting to have crochet help. This was what we were talking about a little bit earlier. You were teasing a little bit. Yes. That we're going to be having a standing crochet help time. So we normally have Stephanie for knitting help on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And now, in addition, we're going to have crochet help with Penny on Sundays from 2 to 4. So that's a drop-in class, just like with Stephanie. However, it is not for learning. It is not for absolute beginners. We have a, we have a different class for that that Jake teaches. Um, we don't have it on the schedule right now. So it is, and we will... We will um, Make sure that in the description on when in our newsletter that it will say that this is not if you don't know how to crochet at all, this is not for that. This is for getting help with getting help with things. You already know how to crochet. You might only know the basics, but but you know how to crochet. Yeah. And Penny so, will help lead you in the correct direction with all of the things you you want to do. That's right. I am not certain if it is starting this Sunday because I have to confirm that with Penny but well it's not starting this Sunday oh no it's right Easter. what am I talking about so so most likely the following Sunday oh man oh yeah okay um trunk shows okay so many first well before trunk shows local yarn store day is Saturday April 27th and we are busy creating magic <laughs> <laughs> That is what's happening. We it will be creating magic. If last year's, I mean, actually, both years, if there are any indication, it will be a very busy day, which is so lovely. I love the fact that so many people come out to show support for us, and we so appreciate it. And we wanna, we wanna give back a little to you, and we do that by doing some giveaways. There's raffles. There's yep. a free gift with purchase. That's, yes. Wall supplies last. And That's I'm right. getting one this year. I know. I we never care. get them. Never get them. Um, or we get them and we give them away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't get one. Oh, um, here, you can have mine. I'm not going to do that this year. I refuse. I'm not doing it this year either. I don't think it's true. I think we're going to do it. I know. Whatever. Hopefully I'm going to take it and I'm going to bring it home. I try to order it enough we order more every year yep so yep free gift with purchase there's still sales stuff happening online yep. um but we're not it's not going to be on forever so if you are if you've been checking out the sale things some of them are going fast yeah so some, and sure. some of them are going back okay. to full pr <laughs> full price but we do have 
Um, you alright? Yeah, I slept in Charlotte's bed last night because she had a bad dream. And oh, that's in, never good. I was in a weird position when I woke up this morning. Yeah. Because usually, you know, they're like on top of your arm. Oh, and, God, those oh, jerks. The worst. Um, but we do have a lovely clearance section with things 50% off, but there's still a bunch of stuff that's 25% off, so get it while you can. Um, All right, Charlotte. Uh, bleh, bleh. That's, so local yarn shop day is exactly one month. It's not, it's the date is one month from today. April 27th. It, yes. So be here. I thought for sure it was when I was going to be away. <laughs> not that nice. <laughs> That I was going to be so unlucky to miss it is what I meant. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love local yarn I do. Shop I am only kidding. I absolutely love local and yarn And people would day. be so sad if they didn't see you. Devastated. They would be. You know it. Um, okay. What's she doing over there? I don't know. She's oh. The worst little boo-boo. Oh. The worst Um. Ever. Okay. Trunk shows. So these are the trunk shows that we have coming up that you need to keep an, a lookout for. We're going to be having a trunk show with Mabel, who is Makers Always Bring Extra Love, okay, here's my bag. who is the designer behind these amazing quilted bags, who I love. And I'm like, we're obsessed. obsessed. Lori got this at Woolen Folk. Yep. And I was so... <laughs> jealous because I'm fairly certain I was like holding on to it but I had already just spent all my money <laughs> but I wanted that one well, so I think I'm going to get that one but she makes all of her bags They're all different from recycled quilts I think she's fantastic it's so yeah. cool and yeah. I do have one of her bags she also makes um clothing Garments. she makes she makes jackets that are really cool and shirts place mats Place mats. Oh, and she just came out with baskets you know, and bags and stuff. Yeah, bat like baskets that are like deeper than that. They're probably around this big. She have a fanny pack or something. Yes, she has, yes. Like, a really cute. Like yeah, she's making crossbody bags. Yeah, what do they call? What do they? They don't call them fanny packs anymore. What do they call them? I think she they called are. it something else. He just shook the whole table. Yeah, but <laughs> anyway. Um. Okay. Anyway, and and. Um, Paige is going to be doing um, um, uh, a class while she's here, a mending class. Uh, it's not, not open. We're not open yet, are we? Nope. Not for. You don't have to answer. Sling that. bags is what yes. she Yes. But they're fanny packs. Sling bags, yeah. Um, We will, of course, do a Miss Babs trunk show. Of course. So don't worry, that will be happening. Um, and that, then we are that, that's happening in July, right? Super excited to host another trunk show with Emily from Fangirl Fibers. We are so excited. We love Emily. I, she's one of those people that like I don't know how she remembers all of the people. She I don't just, know. Like, she's so good. Like when you see her in real life, she's like, oh, it's so I good know. to see you. It's like you see so many people. How are you so excited to I see know. me? Um, so she is going to be doing a trunk show with a focus on the doodle decks, which are um, card decks for knitting color work by Jamie Lomax. The, Who is Pacific the, Knit Co. The decks are. And then Emily has kits and she's got Samples, yeah, she'll have all, she she'll have the have kits. All the things and she'll help people put together colors because she's coming. Yeah. She's coming. She's coming. Last, last year, she was she so busy, she come. wasn't able to come. But this Emily's year, she's coming. Emily's yarn, we had during local yarn store day last year. Yes, we did. Because mm -hmm. she had a we local did. yarn store day colorway. Oh, I should knit mine. I'm going to pull that out. Okay. Oh, my God. I have too much to knit. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. But really, we're done. No. Because <laughs> my back hurts so bad, I need to go to bed. Okay. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Blah, blah. Um, yes. So look up. Yes. Yes. Um, so yeah, go on. Yeah. Go Emily's, on. Um, Instagram fibers. and check out doodle decks. Yeah. Or so Pacific cool. knit co as well. You can see the doodle decks. So I need to stock up on those bad boys. It's going to be very fun. And we're hoping Jamie's coming out with, um, 
new ones that aren't available yet. Um, and I, and I'm not sure that they'll, they might be available by then, but we're going to see if she might pre-sell some of them to me. Cool. That would be great. So that's what we've that. Those are the definite things, but we have so many other things in the works. We're going to, and there are so many other things that are going to be happening, like that we're going to have for local yarn shop day, like new stuff. I'm super excited. Did we talk about Kem um, Kemper? Barely. Okay, so we need Kemper, to talk about Kemper. Kemper is our friend who is the dyer behind Junk Yarn, and she was she, the first, yeah, the first indie dyed yarn that we got before opening the store. She was That's like right. the number one priority, um, and and she's she, always been so good to us. We she love really her. has been. And Kemper is no longer going to be wholesaling her yarn. So we are expecting a shipment of her boss sock and her um, DK uh, yarn, her 100% super wash yeah. DK. Yep. What does she call it? I can't remember what oh my the base is. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. But suffice it to say, we're getting it. And, and it's it'll gorgeous. be our last set of of yarn from from Kemper so we're so really we're, sad it's, about it it's, 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 it's bittersweet. bittersweet it's super bittersweet because we love Kemper and and it doesn't mean that we're never going to see Kemper again because we hopefully will she will be coming to visit us and um, she is going to be by the way she and Emily different Emily Kitty with a she cupcake. and Emily from Kitty with a Cupcake are going to be at what is it called the it's in Salem. It's the, oh my gosh. It is the Yarny Witch Festival. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember the exact name of it. But it is um, something like that. But, um, in fact, entertain the people while I find that. Okay. So, we are, are so excited to get that box of junk yarn. Um, yes. but, but once we, once we have it, that's all, that's all we're going to get. So if you've been looking for it and you want to be able to hold it and see it in real life and get what you get, then you got to come in to get it. Um, and oh, she'll always, she will continue to die and her, oh, yeah. her dying, um, so. is so fantastic. We cannot, um, cannot express enough how much we love her yarn and her, and I still have a fair amount in my stash, so I'll be Same, okay. same. It's the Fiber Witch Festival, April 19th through the 21st. Um, in, Salem, in Salem, Massachusetts. And honestly, I think it's going to be, it sounds like tons of people are planning on going. It's supposed to be great. Um, Emily is organizing it with the owner of Circle of Stitches, Anna, Anna Campos. Anna, yeah. Yep. Oof. Good for you. Um, that was good. Yeah. Sometimes I'm not, I'm not good off the cuff sometimes. Um, <laughs> wait, the other thing I wanted to say about local yarn shop day is that, oh my gosh, it left my brain. I was just thinking, oh, I have to say this <laughs> and I can't remember what it was. We are going to be having kits from Emma's yes, yarn. Thank you. That was it <laughs> for, um, Casa Pink Ronnie's um, project, which could be a little, might you know, might not be the same as it has been. I'm just, I'm not saying anything. I'm not giving anything away. Just, um, I haven't seen it. Do you know uh, what it is? Have you seen it? I, I maybe, um, but I'm not giving anything away because I will get in big, big trouble. Oh, and also, Ronnie is teaching here. This Saturday, we got to go because Justine is dying. Um, <laughs> Just doing a lunge under the table right now. It's no big deal. Jeez. Um, Casa Pinka will be here teaching a class. There are still a few spots left this Saturday. Go to the website. It's um, a cowl pattern that has not been released yet. So if you would like to learn how to do stranded knitting, color work, holding the yarn in both hands or, or one hand, whatever works for you. Uh, you should check out this class. It's on the website. We'll link it below. All right, we got to go. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll be back in two weeks prior to me leaving to go to uh, on my vacation. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right, everybody. I hope everybody has a great day. And this has been um, so much fun. I hope fun. no one is drunk.
because of my drinking game. They could be. I'm very old. So Thanks. old. <laughs> Bye. Bye.